At around 11 in the morning, police detectives stormed Cairo Bank's main branch on Kampala Road as investigations into the ghost payments at the Ministry of Public Service enter the second week. It is alleged that between February and October 2011, 63 billion shillings was paid in two 1,018 ghost accounts in Cairo Bank. For nearly three and a half hours, detectives interrogated six people at the bank offices. And at around 2.30 p.m., the following officers emerged. The manager operations, Tarek Muhammad, Kadu Abe, the assistant to the authorizing manager, Kizito Ismail, in charge of data, Benom Jisha Grace, supervisor customer care, and Rahma Mugere, the compliance officer. Separately, in the bank staff car park, Sentongo Ishaka was picked up by detectives. He led detectives to his home in Bunamaya on Entebbe Road, where they conducted the search. All the six were taken to CID headquarters in Chibuli for interrogation. But according to our sources, detectives found the list of names in St. Ongo's office, which allegedly matched with those found in possession of Peter Sajabi, the National Secretary of the East African Community Beneficiaries Association. Sources also say that the names were not reflected anywhere in the bank system, although 63 billion shillings allegedly paid and withdrawn from the same bank were in those names. However, there is also no evidence that the letters were received by the bank despite the allegations that they were addressed to the bank manager. Another source told us that most of the receipts were signed by one cashier who will help detectives with investigations. The developments come after Sajabi admitted having withdrawn part of the 63 billion shillings on behalf of the ghost pensioners. NTV has also learned that some officials from the Ministry of Finance could face questioning over forwarding the names to Bank of Uganda for payment without questioning the system. The suspects will spend a night at the Special Investigations Unit in Kireka as investigations continue. Critics say that in modern history, in, there is no country in this world that can prosper after losing the battle against corruption. Therefore, for Uganda to get any better than it is in the future, there is an urgent need for government to tighten the noose against corruption rather than just mere condemnation. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.